Anchor Church, welcome to Valentine's Day edition of Going Deeper. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to take Sunday's content and make it more applicable to your life. The goal, as always, is one, watch the short video, be able to ask some questions or analyze some, some areas of your own life. But ideally, you have a conversation with someone else. Today, specifically, if you're married, if you're in a romance, uh, would you have this conversation with uh, your spouse, with your, your, your partner, and would you talk through some of these questions together? Uh, we just got done talking about Anchored Romance uh, at our Sunday morning gathering. And uh, whenever you're watching this, uh, we encourage you to take the time to hear the questions, maybe hit pause, answer them, and dialogue these uh, with yourself, but ideally with somebody else. One thing we talked about to begin our time together is identifying your season. Uh, because it's really important to recognize what season I'm in so that we don't fall into comparing the season I'm in today to the season I used to be in or want to be in or my season versus another person's season uh, can be really dangerous. Now there's some broad seasons as far as singleness, dating, uh, married, divorced, uh, but then there's also seasons within seasons, whether it's having young kids or, or uh, whatever's going on in life or with your job. There, there can be all types of different seasons. So would you take a moment right now and question one is what season are you you in or maybe it's even multiple seasons within seasons what is happening in life right now and can you at least identify the seasons that you're currently walking in the follow-up question to that is how can I be faithful in this season whatever season you're in what does it look like to be faithful to God be faithful to to the future that God has for you to be faithful in the romance that is in front of you or even faithful in the singleness right now uh, regardless of what the future looks like what does it mean to be faithful in this current season um, we talked about the importance of purity. Whether you're single, dating, married, purity is a significant issue uh, with, with all of our lives. As we, we handle our different fleshly desires and, and sexual temptations, what does it look like um, to, to battle with the, the ideal for purity? The question that we want to post to you is what steps can you take to fight for your purity? We talked about how purity is not just the absence of sin, but the presence of Jesus. How do we do both? How do we welcome more of Jesus, and how do we abstain from these, these temptations of impurity? Uh, what steps can you take? I'd encourage you to dive into God's Word. That, uh, that There's a, a psalm that says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your Word. It's in Psalms 119. Uh, how do we dig into God's Word more and more? Um, I would encourage you, secondly, to bring it to the light. If there's areas of impurity, when you, you bring it to the light, you have conversations, you, you take what is hidden and it becomes exposed to the right people at the right time can be so helpful. Uh, also, you can, uh, you can text us. There's going to be a number on the screen right now. And if you text the word resources, we have some resources, a link that we'd like to send you uh, with areas to help with purity, to help with uh, porno pornography addictions or anything else that, that could be a struggle with your impurity. You can text resources and we will try to get some resources in your hand to help. Um, we also talked about uh, intimacy in marriage, not just being physical, but also being spiritual and how Paul talked about uh, having intimacy both physically and in through prayer. And so we want to present a challenge to those of you that are married, that uh, we would be of those that are finding the opportunity to be intimate with our spouse consistently. And so here's the goal for the next 30 days, when we go to bed, it's intimacy either through physical intimacy or it's intimacy through spiritual intimacy of prayer. What does it look like for you to hold each other's hands, to pray with and to pray for each other, to be honest and vulnerable about the condition uh, of, of what your heart is in, what your life is in, where your mind is at. And so that's the goal for the next 30 days. So the question for you married people is are you in? If you're not married, it is consistency in prayer that we would lean into when those desires are arising inside of us, that we would lean into prayer and welcome God, welcome the presence of God into those challenging moments for us. Um, we also talked about the value of having counsel, having coaching, having advice and, and learning and growing through other people. So if you are in a season of life right now where there is struggle, we want to say that we want to pursue Jesus, but we also want to seek help. You can also, with the number on the screen, if you text resources, once again, uh, you will be sent to a link where there is, is counseling resources that we have available in our community that we would love to connect you with. And finally today, uh, as we've been saying week after week, any area of deficiency in our lives, our solution is not in our efforts, it's in our anchor. 
that to grow in, into extending love starts by being in the presence of God and receiving His love. So what does it look like for you this week to lean into your anchor, to put your anchors down, to experience the presence of God through reading the Word, through prayer, through worship, through the community that you are having conversations with? What does it mean for you to put your anchors down? Because the more that we experience the presence of God, the more we experience the love of God, the better we will be at extending love. We love because He first loved us. Love you so much, Anchor Church. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day weekend. Excited to start a new series with you next Sunday. Hope to see you there.